What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Deion Sanders. Everybody's had their say about Deion Sanders. A lot of it has, to me, has been very um, stupid. I think a lot of people are highly upset at Deion Sanders for probably the wrong reasons, or they're upset because other people are upset, but they're not really looking at why Deion Sanders left. And Deion Sanders uh, was doing an interview. And he talked about how he was willing to hire a auditing firm to investigate why HBCUs are financially struggling. Now, you would think that with black universities, you have all these black organizations, you have BLM, especially uh, you got these black athletes and entertainers that pretend to care about black issues. The black community they love talking about how they want to help black people. You know, saying so you got all these white liberals. I want to help black people. But they don't actually you don't see them actually doing anything. One and two, uh, I don't think they're donating to HBCUs. But maybe they are because Dion is like, you know, we need to fi figure out why these universities are broke. So obviously, you know, Dion brought a lot of money, a lot of attention to Jackson State. He brought a lot of attention to HBC HBCUs, whether y'all like it or not. He did. He brought a lot of attention to those schools and. He ended up leaving, but people, instead of people understanding or wanting to understand why, they immediately tried to attack him because they felt like he was leaving black people behind. I told y'all, black people have this savior complex they need to get rid of. Nobody is coming to save black people. Nobody. All those black universities, all those you know people at, the, at these HBCUs who are pissed at Dion because he's getting all the attention even though they've done absolutely nothing to garner any sort of relevance for HBCUs he was able to do that that's why he was hired he was hired to bring attention to HBCUs and that's exactly what he did I don't know why these other people in the, the MEAC and the SWAC felt some type of way about it um, but he was hired by the university it's not like he just imposed his will and say damn it give me a coaching job no he was hired he was brought in they wanted him to do exactly what he did but obviously the money that he brought jackson state you know there was some money coming up missing nobody wants to talk about that nobody wants to talk about the rampant corruption that tends to go on uh at these universities to the point to where the these these the heads of these universities they have to go to washington to get funding but you would think they're getting funding from alumni. Uh, you would think they would get funding from uh, celebrities who claim to love black people in HBCUs. You see all these people with their, you know, HBCU hoodies and sweatshirts, uh, but they must not be giving to them. Right. And I feel Dion on him going to Jackson State. He feels like he's bringing a lot of re revenue there. Uh, as for his contract, even though he was only making 300000 uh, you know, he brought a lot more money to that place and he felt like they have mismanaged it. Of course, they mismanage it because, you know, you got, you know, people who are about themselves and are probably taking that money for themselves. They don't care about improving HBCUs. Not at all. Right. So we're going to get into what Dion had to say. All right. Because I found it to be interesting. Again, everybody wants to be upset at Deion Sanders, but they don't really want to understand why he left. Uh, why don't you just ask him? Deion Sanders wants to know why HBCUs are broke. So this is not clickbait. This is actually what he's saying. It's according to Hot New Hip Hop. Deion Sanders has been taking a lot of heat as of late. This is directly due to his decision to leave Jackson State University, which is an HBCU in Mississippi, Sanders had originally made it clear that he would be with the team long term. However, he decided to leave for a bigger school. Uh, this has opened up a massive dialogue about HBCUs and whether or not they are viable options for athletes. Overall, it has, it has been a contentious issue with Sanders taking a lot of flack. Regardless, Sanders has remained firm on the notion that he is do he is doing nothing wrong. What well, he isn't. And I don't think Dion said he was going to be there for a long term. I think Dion has spoken about how he would be there, but you know, if there are other, he's going to look, if there's other opportunities. He's going to look. He said that in an interview, I believe, with 60 Minutes, because I played a clip, I believe, one of my live streams. He didn't say he was going to be there for the 
long term. He, he, he well, I will say this though. He admitted that he would look if there were options. If he had options, he would look. Coaches never stay in the same place anymore, no matter if they're at a Power 5 school or an HBCU. Recently, Sanders was interviewed by Shannon Sharp for Club Shay Shay. During this interview, Sanders got to answer various questions about his JSU departure. At one point, Sanders even notes that HBCUs are underfunded and that he wanted to do an independent audit to investigate the situation. Now, that could piss off a lot of people. I could see that pissing off a lot of people at Jackson State and other universities because we do need to know where that money is going because Deion Sanders brought a lot of money not only to that university but to that city. So if I was him, I'd want to audit it too. We need to know where the money going. But y'all want him to stay? And money missing? I don't think so. Let's talk about the overall funding of school Sanders began. I wanted to bring solvency to how are we broke? How are we always asking? Why are we always in a deficit? You mean everybody? That's a problem for me. Like, let's investigate and let's find the faults. Is it the same state? Is it the government? Where is this coming from? Let's find it. I was willing to hire a team to audit and find this because it's impossible for all of us to be in the same situation. So there's some corrupt individuals at these HBCUs. Look at BLM. Whenever, listen, y'all may not like this, but this, the, 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 it bears fruit. Whenever you have too many Negroes running an organization, there's going to be some sort of corruption. Look at BLM. Uh, you're now looking at these black organizations. Other, there have been other situations, organizations where it's been majority black people running something and there's corruption. Just corruption happens. I mean, it happens in a lot of different areas. But the fact that you know, you have HBCUs that are not getting proper funding after all these years. They have alumni, you have celebrities, you have these billionaire philanthropists. They're not giving money. Or if they are, where is it going? You had a billionaire, I believe his name is Robert Smith, that offered to pay the uh, debt of some HBC of HBCU students. Not giving back that much. So I believe that's a problem. But instead, they're getting upset at Dion <laughs> when y'all could be fixing the problem yourself. All right. Additionally, Sanders went on to reveal that only 7% of HBCU alumni donate to their un alma mater. He feels like this number is way too low and that is that is has that has contributed to the lack of funding across the board. I'm, I hear a lot about how, you know, uh, you know, women, especially black women, are the most educated group in America. Are a lot of those women going to HBCUs and why are they not giving back? I, I just have that question, too, because he, he says seven percent. That is extremely low. Either those people got useless degrees they never used or only a small amount of those people actually make money. And the others got a degree, but they're working a nine to five, making, you know, slightly over maybe half a minimum wage whatever minimum wages they may they may make double that that's where they maxed out at so they don't have enough to give back sanders has some interesting insights that will certainly stir up some debate you can see more of sanders conversation with sharp here well i, I do think that dion is bringing up points that people don't want to hear and they don't want to hear it because it goes against their narrative that he sold out. I don't think Dion sold. I think he got tired. How y'all want this man to stay at a place he's only making 300000 a year? That there are burglaries. They're ha is still having issues with facilities. Money is going missing, but y'all want him to stay at Jackson State. How is that? How, how do people even rationalize this? Nope, none of you people would have stayed at Jackson State. You would have left the first opportunity you got. People want Dion to do the work while they sit back and not do anything. Because again, only 7% of the alumni are giving back. Dion is doing the numbers. Dion, not only is Dion doing the work, he's doing the numbers, and the numbers ain't math, and the math ain't math. And it got him to a point to where he says, you know what, my best move is to just move on. 
and I don't blame them. So let me say in the comments section, let me know your thoughts, like this video, and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next.